because people have not seen the mg comet on the road so when we were driving it from gurgaon to here there are so many people literally in fancy cars and maybachs and bmws and even like regular guys on bikes and everything stopping and clicking pictures so definitely an eye catching one is honda accord some fancy auntie was looking and waving out and everything so that you can have we have a lamborghini urus right there we've got a bmw 7 series right here and of course our mg comet which is getting all the looks and everybody look the guy from the bmw 7 series is looking at us and they amazing and all so i'm pushing the seat all the way back it's good for two it's a squeeze for four but i wouldn't keep four people in the so car today we are driving we've got a range of 196 kilometers on a 98% charge that's what it's going so i'm going to be spending the whole day driving around uh, so i'm in gurgaon right now let's see what we are able to do with 198 kilometers 98% of charge we need to be back here for our next meeting at 3 o'clock so it's 12 o'clock right 12:15 right now so we have about 2 and a half hours 2 hours 45 minutes yeah. to drive around do some time pass shoot and everything What's up, guys? I'm in Delhi. As you can see, I'm at Lodi Art Colony. I love this space, and today's vlog is going to be really exciting. Before I tell you what we are doing, as you can see, I'm standing right in front of the new MG EV, the Comet. I want you to hit the subscribe button because there's a lot of fun vlogs, airline reviews, car reviews, and of course, all my travel vlogs. You're going to follow me on the streets in Delhi, where we are driving the new MG EV, which is the Comet, around Delhi. Now, this, as I told you, is MG's latest EV. It is India's smallest electric vehicle and is entirely an electric platform. So, unlike some of the other cars that we've seen that started off as ICE platforms and then moved on to EV platforms, this one has been built and manufactured entirely by MG Motor as an EV platform. Today, I've got this very quirky-looking apple green model, which really looks. Striking on the road, I have to say that there were so many people who were just like stopping because people have not seen the MG Comet on the road. So when we were driving it from Gurgaon to here, there are so many people literally in fancy cars and Maybachs and BMWs and even like regular guys on bikes and everything stopping and clicking pictures. So definitely an eye-catching one. So I have to ask you, would you shell out 7.98 lakhs for this mini EV? Because that's the starting price of the car. Now certified range is 230 kilometers as per the spec sheet. Today we started off with 96%. I'm going to take you through the video where, got, where I'm going to show you the actual range in the windshield. I want to show you the exteriors. Really nice, perfect for a small neighborhood city car because that's what they're marketing as. And you know, I always love my cabins with natural light. So when there's a windscreen as big as this, I am very happy because even when I'm driving some of the fancier cars, I'm always opening the sunroof. Okay, these nice wraparound DRLs. This is where you've got your little hatch. for the charger okay what do i have on the screen right now today we are driving we've got a range of 196 kilometers on a 98% charge that's what it's going so i'm going to be spending the whole day driving around so i'm in gurgaon right now let's see what we are able to do with 198 kilometers 98% of charge we need to be back here for our next meeting at 3 o'clock so it's 12 o'clock right 12:15 right now so we have about 2 and a half hours 2 hours 45 minutes yeah. to drive around do some time pass shoot and everything so i've spent about 15 20 minutes in the car first impressions i've driven about 12 kilometers we are down to 88% and it's showing a range of 176 kilometers Don't forget, it's really hot right now in Delhi, so the AC is on full blast. The traffic's been pretty smooth. We've not really had any kind of. It's just a uh, it's kind of free flow. Oh look, there's a nice Indigo A320 landing over us. I love this road because. <clears throat> What are my initial impressions? I think it's bit. It's pretty peppy in terms of like. I mean, you just tap on the accelerator, kind of pushes quite fast. I'm not a huge fan of the honk. I thought I think the honk could have been a little more delicate, but uh, in terms of seat comfort and all, I feel I'm very well seated. I'm quite comfortable here. This little armrest is really a nice touch. Mm, I don't feel very cramped, at least not from the driver's seat. So, uh, so one thing I have to tell you is that because of maybe the size or the newsworthiness of this car. Uh, literally everyone on this road is looking at us. Like people literally stop just now to take a picture. These people in this Creta stop, this Honda Accord, some fancy auntie was looking and waving out and everything. So that doesn't only happen when I'm driving one of those fancy sports cars, but 
टुडे व्हेन आई एम ड्राइविंग द एम जी कॉमेट पीपल ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स ऑफ डेली एंड गुड़गांव आर रियली स्टॉपिंग बिकॉज दे आर क्यूरियस अबाउट इट दे नाइस प्लेन लैंडिंग ओके आई हैव नो आइडिया वेर आई एम ड्राइविंग आई थॉट आई गुड टू अंकल ओ अंकल इज ऑल्सो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटिंग अस लिसन आई डोंट नो वेर आई एम गोइंग ना बाय द वे This is what the key looks like. Now I'm going to take you into the car with me. Let's get in, and I'm going to give you a sense of the space that's in the cabin, both front seat and back seat. So two door, but four seats. So I'm pushing the seat all the way back. All I need to do is put my leg on the brake to start the car. It's an easy start. There's no push button to start. and uh, this is pretty much what the interiors are like i'm going to talk you through the interiors a little bit later but i just wanted to give you a sense of space it's pretty spacious for me at the height of 5 9 i've got enough knee room there's a lot of space right here could use with a little bit more glove storage compartment and i'm going to later sit at the back and tell you what it's like inside i'm just going to show you the boot space guys so essentially essentially for it to have boot space you need to lower these two back seats so if you're going for a grocery run or you have a suitcase or something this is what it looks like because with the seats up there's literally no place to store anything so look we are storing these big bags here Uh, I've decided to shift out of the driver's seat and get into the passenger seat. Rusha, what's your first impressions? The car is not a slouch, which I'm liking. I was expecting it to be, it to be quite slow, but it is not. It's quite peppy, no? Yeah, I mean it's good for a city car. I mean I would definitely wouldn't take it on a highway or something. But it's nice. The but that's what they are. Oh wow! Look at this, guys. Can we just stop too? Okay. Of course, Delhi is heaven for car spotting, and the best part about driving in Delhi is that you can have we have a Lamborghini Urus right there. We've got a BMW 7 Series right here, and of course our MG Comet, which is getting all the looks. And everybody's look. The guy from the BMW 7 Series is looking at us and saying amazing and all. You can have we have a Lamborghini Urus right there. We've got a BMW 7 Series right here, and of course our MG Comet, which is. Getting all the looks and everybody's look. The guy from the BMW 7 Series is looking at us and saying amazing and all. So uh, Rushab's been driving for the last half, and he's been driving us back from Central Delhi to uh, Gurgaon. Once again, smooth road. What are your thoughts, Rushab? There we can see the building that we are supposed to go to. Huh? Uh, What are your thoughts? I actually like the car. I didn't expect it to be this smooth. The car is really nice. Yeah, the smaller wheels are affecting the. Balance of the car, but that's just because the other construction of the car is. But other than that, I think the car is nice. It's spacious for two people. I can't with the horn. Yeah, I can't. Let's press the horn and. Oh God, no, no, no. Then. It's good for two. It's a squeeze for four. But I wouldn't keep four people in the car. I wouldn't. I'm not that bad of a person that I would keep four people. Yeah, see, so we've put, we've like, we've put, we've lowered the seats so that we could put our stuff. So I think if you lower the seats, you can nice, pretty. Good yeah, uh, so it's a good run around car. Run can, around car. You can do your shopping. You can do your errands. You can star mall. Star mall. And do what? And do what? Yeah, exactly. Do what? Uh, anyway. No, my my point is also like, I think if it's a. Two seater, it's really nice. Yeah. Like especially for the neighborhood, you know, driving yeah. around the neighborhood, keeping as your secondary or third car. And uh, secondly, if you want to drive to work every day, I mean, if your work, work is not very far. Yeah, it's like a half, half an hour drive. Half an hour drive is good. Very doable. Yeah, easy. And it, if it's a, if it has like a 200 kilometer driving range, then at least you are set for three days. And then you can charge everything. I days. think the tech and all inside is quite. I mean, I like the screen. Yeah, and I, mean, all. I like that like like large screen. Yeah, the brake region is also quite nice. Ah, you were telling me about the brake region also. Yeah, it's quite heavy. It's quite heavy, and you can feel the brake region also kick in. That is definitely helping because the way I was driving, we still have 53 percent battery left, which is also good. We're almost at the end of the journey. I'm a minute away. I just wanted to show you one more thing because we are at the end of our journey. Obviously, when you buy one of these cars, they'll set up the charging point for you at your residence. But in the boot, they've given us this, 
which is basically your 15 amp plug point that you literally would plug into any home socket or outdoors and of course this and it literally goes right here into this so this is of course always in the boot and we've got a new spectator for our our youtube video so after driving from Gurgaon here at the MG headquarters all the way to central delhi we shot there we drove around and we've come back i am left with 53% of battery and a range of 106 kilometers let me tell you about my impressions on this car i think that this is perfectly what they are marketing it to be a neighborhood city urban car definitely not for long road trips and everything it works just fine if you are two adults um i think for adults or for people bit of a squeeze though i did sit in the back and i found it okay for a short drive uh it is really kitted out with the basics in terms of technology it worked very well the user interface was nice the apple carplay worked very promptly i think uh, over and above that it is an easy drive for city road my verdict is that if this is a second car if you want to use it just around the neighborhood this could really work but would you be willing to shell out 7.98 lakhs that mg is pricing it at for this car i'd like you to tell me in the comment thank you so much for joining me on this video and i hope that you will comment like share and subscribe and of course till my next vlog